Boom. All right. Hey, everybody. Cameron here for Sea Wolf One, the vlog channel. And I just watched uh, Cabin in the Woods. And uh, I don't know. How long's the movie been out? Three weeks. Three weeks? Is, is so it okay long? to talk about the movie without spoiling it? Are we at that I think point? you just need to give a, a spoiler warning. Okay. Well, spoiler warning. Spoiler alert. Is Spo the spoiler alert. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. I didn't know when no, I said. That's fine. I, that's fine. One of those spoiler alert, right. everybody. The huge spoiler alert. Uh, it's the movie. It's not like breaking any horror film boundaries here. Uh, in fact, it's just bringing up all the old ones that you already know and love. Uh, Some really, I don't know interesting ideas uh, oh I guess, high schoolers oh we didn't drive our mom is gonna come pick us up from oh cabin in the man. woods hell yeah all right anyway um we, we were talking earlier that it uh broke the quote the fourth wall uh what would you say is the best way to like the best part when it kind of broke that boundary when they ex well, when they talked about having the stereotypes and blah 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 and uh, all that good stuff. We'll see. Pray tell, yeah. Cameron, what does breaking the fourth wall mean? I don't have a good definition for that. I'm still stuck on the part where they were talking about the fool. You know, you've got all your stereotypes in movies. You've got the jock, the smart guy, the virgin girl, the guy who's crazy. Uh, in this movie, though, it was just a stoner. And, uh, well, it's always the full. And in the picture, it was a guy drinking. Right. Well, oh, okay. Sure. The guy who drinks too much. Newspaper at first, but it's a oh. Someone's holding like something like that. Anyway, we're rambling. This is gotta be bad. Whole, this has gotta be horrible. We've done this before. Every time we get in here. But anyway, it's got like every um, known villain. I guess. Uh, you got werewolves, you got ghosts, banshees, uh, zombies, uh, zombie rednecks. Uh, they're very... Ballerinas. Ballerinas. Oh, yeah. Scary ballerinas. Kids. Scary kids. All over the place. Math. Uh, and it's, it pretty much all comes down to conspiracies. Uh, yeah, that kind of shenanigans. Really good. I would good. say if you want an irreverent comedy that you can laugh at, but still have the suspenseful part of a scary movie. Yeah. This would be a good one because I don't like scary movies and I hate being scared, but this broke the tension enough that there were moments where I was startled yeah. that I was not like shitting myself. Right. Oh, this isn't a family friendly version. No, that's fine. Okay. But, uh, yeah, they did a really good job of uh, kind of allowing anything and everything to happen. Um, it hmm. moves quickly, too. It does. It does. There's no stale points. It's just keeps going, keeps going, you know, um, I always look for it in scary movies, those parts where it goes, Bah! And so, you know, I'm sitting there like, tense. tense the whole time, and then when something happens, I see it happen, and I see it coming, and that's to be expected, but, uh, the, I think the worst part for the movie wasn't the actual movie itself, it was the, uh, Douchebag sitting behind us. Yeah, what she said. Uh, and they were the perfect stereotype from... Think of the scary movies. The black girl who goes, No, don't go in there. Don't open that door. You know, everything uh, you like that. You are so racist. Uh, yeah, yeah, but come on, seriously. Okay, they were the stereotypical movie hecklers. If we... Look, this is one of those movies where people go, Why the fuck did they go? But they were doing it to excess. They were doing right. it the entire time. They were doing it in suspenseful parts. There's, which broke the moment. Right, there's... There's a point of like doing it every once in a while, like, oh shit, don't do it, ah, and then they do. But no, they were doing it like every scene, and they constantly had a, something that they had to say out loud. Every... Because uh, they were the most important thing, ooh, people seeing the movie. Easily, easily. Uh, every, I don't know, maybe... They were probably the coolest people there. Well... Let's be honest. It's, okay, if, we're, okay. if I'm being honest, they're yeah, probably... Yeah, probably the coolest, the coolest people there, <laughs> definitely. Oh, yeah. Uh, they had something to say every 20, 30 seconds. Uh, you know, it's like a clock would tick and they'd have to say something i would i did the the turn around the the glare the teacher stare turn around. yeah i it's not bright enough for the teacher uh, look, but the the movement of turning around but i think i just shot on my cleavage and that probably just take them on well they didn't say anything about it 
but uh, oh girl you got great tits well they were waiting for the one girl to you know show them off and then when she did they were just kind of like yeah mm. I think they're, this is a really bad vlog that's okay so are the rest of them I mean, yours or did the vlogs eh, yeah, vlogs in general I think are meant to be awful they're just snippets of time of people's lives where shit gets rambled forever if anybody watches this all the way through um, a gold star. leave a yeah, leave a comment down below and you'll get that little gold star. I'll come over to your wall and be like, gold star! Wait, can you star people? Like I don't know. Too? No, not anymore. They used to do stars, now it's all about thumbs up. All about the thumbs up. Yeah. Alright, guys. Cherry Berry Chiller. Uh, what? Oh, Cherry Berry Chiller. Gotcha. Alright, well, see ya! Every time I try to hit this, it doesn't turn off right away, so.